Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get a general message for you guys to see what the energy is around you for the collective. What does Virgo need to know at this time? Thank you, Spirit. This is a general. Take the parts that resonate, leave the rest. If anybody is interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below, guys. So show me, what is the energy from our Virgos? Give me a general message for them. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy? Give me two cards for Virgo. Oh, dear. Bad health coming out here. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, change at the bottom of the deck. We've got imprisonment here. Somebody not doing too well. Now, is this somebody worried about going to jail? Is this somebody just unhappy in a situation that they just wish they could change? Someone's stuck somewhere or feeling like they're stuck? It's behind change. Message of concern. Maybe somebody that wants to reach out to you, Virgo. But let's see. Give me some cards for the bad health. Now, if this is your energy, Virgos, I am sending you love and light. So this actually could be a physical um, situation, right? Maybe somebody around you is ill. Maybe you are ill, but let's see. Bad health. Someone maybe in the hospital. But I see the seven of wands, so let's see if it comes out. What is the bad health? Why is it here? Queen of Cups. And the Ten of Wands. So, Queen of Cups here, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Queen of Cups. It could be a feminine or a masculine energy, right? It doesn't matter. But somebody looks like they ain't doing too well, number one. And Virgo, I don't know, it could be because, or like I said, this could be you. Queen of Cups would just be representing someone who's in their emotions, which we can clearly see that. And it could be because someone here walked away, right? Ten of Wands. Somebody walked away from a situation. It was too much of a burden. It was too heavy here, right? A situation that's too difficult to deal with. Now we saw that change card. So maybe some of you have relocated, left the home, left the marriage. Yeah, look at that. The bottom of the deck, the full card. Ooh, taking a leap of faith. <laughs> I'm hearing <laughs> I'm here and I'm free, as free as the wind blows. <laughs> there it goes. I hope you didn't leave nobody behind. And hmm, I don't know. It depends what you were dealing with. Oh, wow. Look at that coming out. The Ace of Wands. Now, it was coming out sideways. For some of you, this person tried to stop you from moving on here. They tried to stop you from... Having some kind of new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Now it could also be as a blockage. <clears throat> Maybe you tried to re have something with this Queen of Cups. Or this water energy. Maybe it just didn't work out. Just couldn't get it off the ground, right? Something just wasn't right here. Show me, yeah, look at that, Nine of Pentacles. Some of you said, hey, I'm, I'm jumping into single mode. I can't deal with this. Whatever this is, it is not worth it. It's too much stress. Ten of Wands. The Ten of Cups. Two Tens. For some of you, this is the end to a family situation. Maybe someone you had children with. Somebody... You try to you try to keep the situation in this energy, right? Or maybe this is what it was at one point. Maybe you have two children with this person. Maybe you don't. Maybe you talked about children. But it kind of feels like somebody who wanted a happy situation with you. But it's almost like for someone here, Virgo, you just feel like your happiness or is somewhere else. You some of you just couldn't stay in this. What is the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands? The 
The King of Cups. Oh, so this is a pair. So for some of you, this may have been a marriage. Or you may have felt like this was your other half. Right? Your counterpart. <laughs> your yin to your yang. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. That's what I heard. Your yin to your yang. So some of you definitely could be dealing with male or female. Now we have both out here, right? <laughs> what is the King of Cups? The Knight of Swords. One more. You may have found it challenging to communicate with this person. What's the Knight of Swords? And the Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords is also... I feel like somebody is leaving a situation because... I don't know if they're rushing towards something else with the four of pentacles, right? Now, this could also be giving me something else. Someone here may be leaving one situation because they don't want to lose someone or something else and they're rushing towards that, right? But this is also giving me the energy here of, for some of you, this situation may have ended because I don't know if this person told some lies with a knight of swords, right? I don't know. Again, there may have been some kind of information here that came up that was challenging, Four of Pentacles, this could have to do with finances. Maybe somebody was holding back finances here. What is the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Cups? Page of Swords. Talks about information. Also talks about somebody maybe watching somebody else here online. Oh, they were talking to somebody else. Yeah, look at that third party situation with the Three of Cups here. But the Three of Cups also talks about reunited and it feels so good. So it's also sometimes this energy of having something to celebrate, right? Thank you. Three of swords, another three. And then there's somebody else on the other end who is heartbroken here because somebody here is going towards their wish fulfillment. But whoever's being left behind is not in a good energy. I'm almost like I'm hearing, uh, oh, let me try and pronounce this correctly, excruciating pain. The imprisonment card, why is it here? Page of Pentacles. Now the Page of Pentacles to me is about starting something new. It's a new opportunity, right? Something just getting off the ground. This also could be somebody offering something, somebody offering someone a small gift or something like that. What's the page of pentacles? The six of wands. Victory. This is somebody having some kind of public recognition. This is somebody who's being celebrated by others. So someone here may want to come towards you, Virgo. Or this is you wanting to go towards somebody who's having, I don't know, they're in the public eye somehow. The Four of Cups coming out here, which talks about somebody feeling like they missed an opportunity. So whoever's leaving this situation, they look like they're going towards somebody else. So it looks like they were trapped in something. But this imprisonment could also be talking about now this person is trapped in their head about approaching you, about making you this offer. This is somebody who's feeling like maybe they missed an opportunity here, right? So they could be in two minds of do I do I go towards Virgo and offer them this? Do I go towards Virgo and say something? Um, I don't know. Because I don't know how I'm going to be reciprocated, right? I don't know if Virgo's going to want my offer. I don't know if Virgo's going to want to um, hear from me. I don't know. I don't know. Imprisonment. Mental imprison. Six of Wands. Why the Six of Wands here? Wow, wow, wow. Hello. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There you are, Virgo. And I noticed that. In the cards that I would say that would represent you, you have your back turned to all of this. Maybe you have your back turned. Oh, yeah, look at the high priestess. Nice either that you have your back turned because you already know that somebody's coming towards you, right? So you don't need to look out for them. But for others of you with a high priestess, oh, wow, Virgo. Um, for others of you with a high priestess here, you don't see this ace of cups coming. Ten of pentacles. Oh, the lovers. Okay. 
Coming out, though, sideways was the emperor. <sighs> sideways is a blockage. This person is. So you could be dealing with someone who is successful as well with the emperor energy here. Maybe somebody who owns their own business, right? The emperor usually some kind of CEO or something like that. Or has some kind of title or status. Well, it could just be representing that this person is thinking about getting up and taking control. I'm hearing Bob the Builder. Can we do it? And then I'm hearing, um, uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> so <laughs> someone, someone here may be, I don't know, maybe gathering up the courage here, Virgo. What is the Ace of Pentacles? The Page of Pentacles. Hear me, the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. What's the Page of Pentacles with the Four of Cups? For Virgo. The Star card. Wish fulfillment. Healing a situation. It's about your hopes and your dreams. Oh, someone set themselves free. Judgment. They made a final decision here. Give me one more. Or well, this person is looking at you like this, Virgo, right? Maybe this is why they're a little bit intimidated to come towards you because they see that you've healed. They see that you're bringing in your hopes and your dreams, right? They're coming in for you. They see that you are free, free spirit. For some of you, they know that you're very spiritual. Look at that, the Ace of Swords. So not only you're a free spirit, not only you're healed, but you communicate clearly. Well, clear, precise, and direct for some of you. Or for some of you, the Ace of Swords is just representing that this is the truth so far. But somebody is looking at you as an investment. Now, not in a bad way necessarily, right? But maybe looking, yeah, look at that, death and the rebirth. So some of you, for some of you, this is someone from your past. Scorpionic energy here. But the death and the rebirth <clears throat> could be telling me more than one thing. You've had some kind of a rebirth here, Virgo. We see that very clearly. Star card. The Judgment and the Ace of Swords. Now you may be encouraging somebody to step into this Emperor energy. But the Death and the Rebirth can talk about somebody coming back around to have some kind of reconciliation here. We do have the Judgment. Somebody, want, the Star card could be representing them wanting to heal the situation with you. Hence the Page of Pentacles offering you something, almost like an apology. But still very much in their head. The death and the rebirth. I am feeling the sun card, so we'll see. Oh, there's that ace of pentacles that I said earlier. The death and the rebirth, right? Maybe this person was only offering you page energy before. That was for someone. I heard the magpie. Now, this is somebody coming towards you, offering you something that can grow, that has opportunity, that is tangible, that is solid. Oh, I'm hearing solid as a rock. Oh, do you know what? Let me not. <laughs> for some of you, <clears throat> for somebody here who is thinking about you in a sexual way. So this could be someone who's fantasizing about you. But we don't have the ace of wands out here. Hopefully it won't come out. No, I'm joking. <laughs> One more for this death and rebirth and this ace of pentacles. Thank you for Virgo. Give me the last card. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. A whole new world, a brand new cycle for some of you. And this woman is happy about this brand new cycle. It almost gives me the energy of Something completing, but in a good way. So if some of you were, let's say, in this Nine of Pentacles energy, your person could be coming in to complete that, right? To add that last pentacle. The Empress, oh, the Hermit, and there's that Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's coming towards you, Virgos. And I just told you someone's thinking about you sexually, okay? I was told you about the Ace of Wands. So if none of you don't want no babies, you know what to do. 
a strength card. Yeah, somebody's getting the courage and the strength here to move forward. But it's also this energy that you are in. So you are inspiring someone or you are inspiring people to step into that same energy. To show them that they can. Right? So when with that Bob the Builder, when I say, can we do it? I don't want to hear no more. Uh, yeah, I think so. I want to hear, yes, we can. So let's get, who do we want to end on? Actually, I want to get... <clears throat> One from the love and light. Do I want to get one from the love and light? Okay. Give me one card from here for Virgo. Focus on your blessings. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. You had this before. Your blessings are coming in for somebody. And I don't feel like it's just in love. I feel like for some of you, this is all rounded, right? So all that patience that you've had, Spirit says, okay, let's go. Let's bless them with love. Let's bless them with stability, finances. Oh, I was saying about the Ace of Wands, it is out here. Let's hide it. Let's keep that under there. Wrap it up, guys. It says, be the love you wish to receive. Look at that. That's what I said to you, some of you. It's because of who you are, right? Because of what you've been doing. Because of the love that you've been giving. Why you have helped someone or something, right? Maybe more than one person. I don't know the story. To step into their power. To step into their strength. To step into their confidence. Those who... Oh, wow. I didn't even read the bottom. Let me scratch real quick. <laughs> Just, I didn't read the bottom. It says, those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. <laughs> see, I, I don't know. I wish it had turned over or something because I literally didn't see the bottom. But that's literally what I just said, right? So, I'm going to get one from the Everyday Witch. And then we're going to end on Mother Mary, guys. Again, my information is down below for those of you who are interested in a personal reading. Thank you to those who donate to the channel. That is very much appreciated as well, okay? All right, so give me one card. From here, for my Virgos. How do you want to end their reading? It's getting stuck, getting stuck. I am seeing the card accept love for some of you, so let's bear that in mind. Some of you need to do a cleansing. Meditation to dig deeper. Some of you need to meditate, recharge your crystals, okay? Right, give me a card. Let it fly out, please. That's a card for Virgo. Thank you. I said accept love. But at the bottom of the deck, we have give into passion, Virgo. Oh, I'm hearing some of you are going to be given into passion. Listen, keep me out of Virgo's bedroom. Thank you. You have follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, Virgo. It's almost like I'm hearing they're just over the horizon. Let's end on Mother Mary. For my Virgos. Give me one card. Yeah, some of you, I don't know, some of you are expecting all this is going to be very much coming up for you guys. Now, for some of you, the more I'm looking at this king and queen over here, right, I feel like what I said still stands for some of you. But again, this energy of, I feel like there may be somebody coming in, Virgos, who may be, uh, almost like I want to say, like, if you guys are intuitive, it just be, it feels like someone who's who's kind of on the same wavelength. Maybe this person is intuitive as well here. Um, maybe this is someone also that hasn't spoke up before about how they feel about you. But someone here is definitely leaving behind a tough family situation. 
me a card. I don't want to end their reading. Thank you, Mother Mary, for the sign of Virgo. What's the message you want to deliver? Show me. Ooh, be strong. Yeah, it's that energy of lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. Somebody to lean on. Okay. You have be strong. I pull myself up to do what needs to be done. Now, this could be the energy of the other person. Or then Virgo. Verno. Somebody here. Okay. Somebody here was dealing with a Scorpio. They're putting this person with a snake. Because they're kind of giving me the word venom. So, I don't know. Somebody was dealing with a poison, a Scorpio or something like that. Or, I don't know. But somebody here, like I said, with that emperor, that strength card, that death and that rebirth. The star card, the judgment, somebody here is healing themselves from something, pulling themselves up and standing in their power. <laughs> it's almost like I'm hearing... I'm here, it's almost like I'm hearing, now that's commendable. It's almost like I'm hearing a round of applause. It's almost like somebody took themselves out of something that was meant to hold them back, maybe keep them ill. But somebody set themselves free. <laughs> so it's like I'm hearing congratulations. But I'm going to leave that message there, Virgos. Guys, again, this is general. It probably really didn't resonate with some of you. But take what resonates and leave the rest, guys. Stay safe, Virgos. Love and light.